This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says two trucks leave a factory at the same time. One travels east at 60 miles per hour and the other travels west at 30 miles per hour. And how many hours will they be 150 miles apart? So for a problem like this, it's sometimes easy to make a quick sketch. And I'm going to use this dot to represent their factory. According to the problem, one truck heads east at 60 miles per hour while the other truck heads in the opposite direction, that is west at 30 miles per hour. And we want to know how long it's going to take them to be 150 miles apart. So you may have recognized that we have all the elements of the distance formula, that is distance equals rate times time. The distance in this case is 150 miles apart. The rate is not going to be 30 miles per hour or 60 miles per hour individually. Again, the trucks are traveling away from each other at a combined rate of 30 plus 60 miles per hour or 90 miles per hour. So our rate's going to be their combined rate of 90 miles per hour. And of course, we're going to be solving for T and how many hours will they be 150 miles apart. So to solve for T, we're going to divide both sides by 90, of course. In doing so, this crosses out, leaving us with T on this side. And now we got to do some arithmetic here. We can cross out these corresponding zeros. This says 15 divided by 9. 9 goes into 15 one time without going over. Just like that, we know our answer is going to be one hour and something. So you could say it's A with confidence right now. But that said, let's keep working this out. Um, 9 times 1 is 9. 15 minus 9 is going to be 6. Again, we have to add a decimal and a zero placeholder. Bring the decimal into our answer and drop down that zero. 9 goes into 60. 6 times without going over. 9 times 6 is going to be 54. 60 minus 54 is 6. Again, we have a zero that we can drop down. And you can see that this is just going to be 1.666 repeated. In other, th in other words, 0.66 repeat it is the same thing as two thirds as a fraction. So this is going to be one and two thirds hours. In other words, it's going to take them one and two thirds hours to be 150 miles apart. And that confirms that A is in fact the correct answer choice.